Nova Academy is an ed tech company, and we specialize primarily in college preparation, planning, and counseling. Um, so really just the, the steps to planning your future and really starting early, creating a roadmap in high school and how to get there. Welcome to Business Ninjas, brought to you by Write For Me, where you'll hear from business leaders who are out there growing their business and slaying it every day. Learn from the masters. Let's get started. Welcome to another episode of Business Ninjas. I'm here with Aaron Gordon, who is the content manager and storyteller at Nova. Hey, Aaron, how's it going? Hey, I'm doing great, Andy. How are you today? Doing great. Looking forward to the conversation here. Tell me a little bit about yourself and what you do at Nova. Yeah, so um, as you said, I'm the content manager over there, um, and I basically oversee all of the content on our blog um, to even digital assets, uh, downloadable files, and our social media pages. Um, before working with Nova, um, I was a freelance writer and content marketer who also even branched out into some social media there as well. And uh, just for fun, I do travel writing and creative fiction. All near and dear to my heart. I, I love this stuff. So, so let's dig into this a little bit. Let, let's start with who is Nova and, and, and what does the company do? Yeah. So Nova Academy is an ed tech company and we specialize primarily in college preparation, planning, and counseling. Um, so really just the, the steps to planning your future and really starting early, creating a roadmap in high school and how to get there. Wonderful. And so let, let's kind of unpack that a little bit. Uh, I have a 15 year old daughter who's in 10th grade and this is right up her alley. Absolutely. So tell me a little bit about how somebody like her or in, in me as a parent, how would we use Nova and, and what would that roadmap look like? Absolutely. Well, as you know, um, since you're kind of right in the thick of it, that it is a mentally, uh, we'll say taxing process <laughs> of getting uh, accepted into college and preparing just um, numbers and numbers of essays, supplemental essays, getting all of your transcripts together, um, organizing them into files and making sure you're getting to each and every application at a timely manner. Um, so not only is it mentally taxing, but it could be emotional. Um, so Nova Academy is really there as a third party to mediate that process uh, to make it not only simpler, but easier to manage and to keep not only parents and students, but also students um, together in that process. So um, our kind of bread and butter is our counseling service and our college counselors work alongside students to essentially give them a tailored service based on where they want to go to college, um, their academic profile, their strength, you know, maybe some areas for opportunity, trying to figure out where those are and what to do basically to really turn their profile into a star that stands out from the competition that's so interesting and and so i uh, i can imagine how uh what, what a solution it provides for somebody who's approaching that it because it's this black box for both the parents and the, the kids so you know having a roadmap and having an advisor along the way to kind of guide you through that um, seems like a, a, a great value. Um, tell me a little bit about, you know, so so if I become a customer, what's my customer experience like and what is the roadmap like as, as a customer? Yeah, so one thing I will say is that every, of course, every individual that we tailor to is different. And a lot of that comes down to their personal interests, where they wanna to go to college, um, even the year that they're in in high school. Um, so our, of course, our customers primarily are the students that we're, that we're supporting, uh, but also, again, their parents, too, who are the decision makers in that process. And, of course, they want the best for their kids. So um, depending on who that is, let's say we're working alongside a student, their roadmap could be vastly different from another student's um, and really coming down to those factors. So um, from kind of beginning to end, the goal is to get to know that student really um, from the bottom of who they are and their goals and their interests, um, which is a, it's a loaded question, you know, coming, um, 
for a high schooler, uh, what do you want to do when you grow up? What, what, what career do you want to go into? Some, some students don't even know what college they want to go to. And that's completely normal. Um, those are a lot of choices to be making, uh, before you're 18. <laughs> so, uh, of course, you know, just keeping that in mind, our, our ultimate goal is to really try to help them discover these aspects about their personality and their strengths and um, bridge the gap between what are they good at and what do they enjoy doing and how can we turn that into a fulfilling career and of course how do we get them into a program or a college that really sets that in place in order for them it's such a great way for somebody to do some inward thinking about what they really enjoy doing and a lot of time you know you're you're a high schooler you don't need necessarily think about these things right so absolutely you think about like what you said which is the end question was what do you want to do with your life and it just becomes this overwhelming kind of like oh my god i don't even know i'm i'm 16 17 right i was supposed to know now so tell me a little bit about how you help unpack that for for a student and um you know help them kind of do that inward thinking and and discovery and then as they're explaining some of these things that they like to do, how do you pin those down and help them, you know, uh, turn that into something actionable? Absolutely. Well, this, um, this kind of also pertains to our value add from competitors, which is kind of, again, branching into that tailor-made service. Um, so when a student hires a Nova Academy counselor, they're not just hiring a counselor. Um, they're hiring a coach who's going to be mentoring them and explaining uh, certain processes, how to get from A to B, um, whether that's applying for college or whether that's getting into a specific program. Uh, perhaps that's even how to get a better grade in your AP class. Um, so it really, it also, you know, kind of goes into these other elements of academic success. It's not just necessarily your college application. Um, it really depends on that student, of course. So it just, um, it's one of these elements where they're going to need some support that might be emotional. It might be, um, you know, helping them figure out a process. It might be that they need a therapist and they need someone to talk to and, and work out these issues. So when they're working with a counselor, they're not just working with one person who's wearing one hat. Um, they're They're speaking to someone who's who's handling a number of different, let's say, professions under one umbrella, uh, whether that's a mentor, coach, therapist, counselor, so be it, you know, so um, that's, that. yeah, yeah, as you know, it's it's a it's a definitely a process that, you know, sometimes can be really exciting, but can also be very stressful for both parents and students. Um, so having someone there who's going to be giving you uh, complete and full support uh, can help a lot. Definitely. And I can imagine, you know, building the roadmap from where you are now to where you want to be and then unpacking that a little bit to say, for example, if I really like media, then maybe there's some opportunities for me to start building my own story. So if you start with the end in mind and you kind of go, OK, so if that's the end of high school, what do you want to do between now and then to be able to get that experience and start to tell your story? Tell me a little bit about that and how how you guys work with students to help them, you know, plan their their story and their their trajectory. Mm. Well, I would also say it also comes down to trying as many things as you can or as early as possible. So, um, just to kind of, uh, I would say also as an other option, you know, so let's say someone wants to do something or thinks that they want to do something. And they plan their entire college map around this specific, let's say, study or area of, of career. And then they get into it and they hate it. So um, the goal ultimately is to figure out early on what are your strengths and what are your interests? You know, of course, there are a lot of different things that you can do as a high school student. But in a way, there's also too many things. <laughs> Uh, where it can be a little bit overwhelming to say, okay, I could be part of a sports team or I could be part of five sports teams or I could start a college news or I could start a high school newspaper or I could get involved with a nonprofit or I could start my own nonprofit, <laughs> you know? So there's so many different things that someone can do and um, narrowing into what they really love um, 
at the beginning stage is is an easy way to kind of simplify that question. Um, again, it can it can feel really stressful when you say, well, what do you want to do with, for the rest of your life? Um, but as we know, you know, there's all these other elements that could change throughout college and someone's career. Um, there's also a possibility that they could even start their own major in their college. Um, so there's definitely a lot of avenues. And what we're aiming to do is to try to um, introduce students to avenues that are really specific to their needs and their interests. I love this holistic approach to it. And, and, uh, and then applying some technology to that as well. Talk to me about the platform side of this and you know, some of the capabilities that the platform has. You, you mentioned document management, for example, or college applications. Uh, what does that look like? What's that experience? Absolutely. So our online program really tailors primarily to different courses. Um, we have AP courses and um, writing competitions that we kind of help uh, navigate students through. So um, our programs are entirely online through our website and students can usually meet one-on-one -on -one with counselors or they can even be in group courses or in individualized one-on-one -on -one courses too. So again, it's, it's very, um, one of the great things about a digital platform is that it is entirely customizable for that student. Um, so it's, it's great to be able to kind of give them that environment where if they want to be in a classroom with more than one student, if they kind of get that, uh, let's say energy from other individuals in the room discussing ideas, they can certainly have that. Whereas if they prefer to meet one-on-one -on -one and speak a little bit more privately with an instructor and ask them, you know, more uh, like, let's say deeper questions or kind of branch off into other ideas as well, they can certainly do that too. Very cool. And so is there a scheduling tool that's built into the platform where they can schedule time with a counselor in that regard? Yes. Um, so we, we have different uh, calendars on our website where essentially the student can actually just jump right in and to schedule a uh, session with one of our advisors. Um, that advisor will typically talk to that student a little bit more about what their interests are and get uh, an idea of maybe what they want to move into, whether that's um, in a P course or college counseling, and then get them connected to someone who would actually be able to help them in that area. Makes a lot of sense. And then talk to me a little bit about the college counseling part of this. So, uh, you know, as part of that, that's sort of like the, the the end goal for some students is help me figure out what college I should go to. I don't even know, you know, what, what I don't even know where to start with this kind of stuff. Yeah. Right. So, right. so how do you help a student navigate through that? Yeah. I mean, one thing I will say is that college admittance uh, is not the result of a formula. Um, you could you could be a star student with uh, you know or let's say you do everything right in high school and have you know perfect grades, um, AP courses under your belt, extracurricular activities, and even then you might not get accepted into your top choice school. So um, with college ad admissions becoming more competitive each year, you know the goal ultimately is to figure out maybe a benchmark for that student um, in terms of where they want to go, what they need to do um, based on their academic resume. So we are going to essentially get into a deep dive with that individual and see what's there right now, what's what can we improve, what's missing. Um, and that's where our college counselors uh, jump in. So these are individuals who have decades of experience um, in a number of different uh, areas of expertise. Um, we have a few professional writers on our um, on our board. We have a couple of different academic uh, professionals who have been in advising for you know two to three decades. And one of the great things about these individuals is that they've been around for long enough to kind of see the ups and downs and the trends in admissions and can not only understand the current situation in admissions, uh, but also give students the tools that they need to be able to navigate a challenging and sometimes uh, transitional process. <laughs> so, And it's a highly curated process that just forcing which university would be applicable for you and even Absolutely. should I go in state, should I go out of state and all these kinds of decisions that totally uh, they're, they're in, in the, the, the student's mind. Um, let's switch gears a little bit. Talk to me about the business side of the company. Um, how does the company generate revenue and 
What does that look like? Yeah. So um, again, out of our meat and potatoes is college counseling. That's our biggest revenue generator. But um, we do also have a number of different other kind of tailor-made products for students, um, whether that be courses. So we have kind of a full menu of uh, online courses from AP classes to um, even writing support for helping them develop their college essay or preparing an essay for submission to a competition. We also have um, scholarships where students can apply and submit resumes or uh, an essay to and get that um, additional exposure. Um, we also have a leadership program called the Model G20 for students as well who would like to really get into the seat of a delegate and discuss, you know, primary uh, significant issues that are, you know, our world is facing and, and kind of develop their ideas and network with an international base of students. So we have a variety of different revenue sources, but, um, you know, really, again, it's all tailored down to the buildup and, uh, let's say, buildup of an academic profile. Makes a lot of sense. And, and, uh, and how are you growing the company? Uh, obviously, content must be at the core of that and attracting new visitors through SEO. Um, tell me a little bit more about how you're growing the business. Yes, I would say you hit the nail on the head there. Our our biggest growth right now is through content marketing. Um, so that's definitely something that's very exciting on my, my plate right now. But um, the marketing team is, we definitely have our hands full. Um, <laughs> everything from webinars that we host twice a, twice a month, um, which, you know, we try to feature speakers from all different kind of areas of expertise. Um, coming this February, we have a... Uh, an expert on scholarships who's going to discuss how a student can graduate debt-free um, and really get the most out of applying to scholarships. So that will be an exciting one. Um, we also have a wide variety of resources on our website um, directed towards, you know, everything from tutorials on AP, let's say calculus formulas, to even figuring out how to create a writing profile. So um, we're really, we're gearing our content towards being a kind of one-stop shop resource and guide for students who are looking to navigate college applications. Love the direction of the business. This is really interesting. Mm. Yeah, uh, it's definitely I, fun. Yeah, yeah I'm sure. <laughs> you know, and, and you work with, you work with students and parents and helping them navigate this very complex environment um, and the insights and, and the, the, the service that you provide, that the, like these webinars that you're talking about, uh, just seems so interesting. Um, especially, you know, learning how to navigate from a financial standpoint as well for both the parents and and the student. You know, how because no student wants to end up having a lot of debt on the other side of of going to school. So, oh, absolutely. Le learning how to do that is really useful. I guess my last question for you is: What would you like to be celebrating a year from now? I think one of the greatest things that we could be celebrating is a, um, you know, of course, a, an increase in revenue and development of our customer base. But one thing that we absolutely love, even though we've been in business for close to a decade, we still pride ourselves on having a small business mentality. So um, again, creating that kind of tailor-made product for each student and giving them specialized, um, let's say, mentorship. Um, our, our biggest celebrations are always the success stories that we get, um, and we hear from our students. So just this past year, we have a couple of college counseling students who have gotten into, um, Cornell and Harvard university, and it's just so fabulous to be able to see and, um, be a part of those big, big moments in students' lives. And, um, of course it's not just prestigious universities. I mean, any college is a success for a student if that's where they're aiming in life. And um, it's so important to be a part of that moment. Um, you know, I think that that's just, it's it's great to be in that student's corner. So <laughs> um, I'd say uh, in a year from now, when when uh, college uh, admissions letters come through, you know, our, our, biggest, our biggest celebrations are always with those students. A virtual high five. So <laughs> I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. It's such a great mission and, uh, and, and useful resource to students. Uh, tell, tell anybody who's listening here how they can find it. 
Yeah, absolutely. Well, you can find us um, at Nova, K-N-O-V-V-A.com and uh, find us online on social media, Nova underscore Academy. Wonderful. Aaron, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure talking with you. It's been a pleasure, Andy. Thank you. My pleasure. Take care.